Welcome to HTML4 video series. This is table part 18. So far we have seen a lot of things in table. So now it's time for us to go in action and try to build something which should look something like this. Alright, so uh, as for the game plan, let's check out the image first. So we are looking at the image and you can see in most of the cases when you look at the website, you have a structure something like this where you have header then you got like menu next and then you got page having a two two way layout or three column layout or something like that it depends like how you want to design it and most of the time you might see something like this on the left you might be having a link on the right hand side you'll be having a news so what's the upcoming all right and in the middle of the page you have the main content where you want to present what's your content right so this is kind of a structure I have built in here all right so as you can see the structure is over here and place the header menu navigation links this is not fully complete yet but we are going to we are not going to build something like this but almost something like this but I'm just trying to show you using table you can uh, create a, you know a certain layout which you exactly want right so <clears throat> if I want to create something like this then how can I do it uh, like you always remember when we dealing with the table you always have three tags very compulsory one is a table tag one is a TR tag and one is a TD tag TR is for the row and TD is for the table data <coughs> right one second so now uh, the image is done and you have the layout in front of you now if you want to make this kind of layout what would you do I mean look at the picture over here and if I tell you to think about it and I want something to be designed using tables how will you do it of course if you are an expert then you know it's very easy but if you are a newbie then how would you do it so the plan over here is whatever you seeing like I'm looking at the header right then I'm looking at the menu everything is a section for me section in the sense everything is like a table for me so if you're looking at the header header is a complete table for me and you can see I have one only TR and TD for it so I explain like uh, what is a structure I have planned everything what you are thinking should be a table <coughs> And this is uh, where we are bringing the nesting of tables, right? So what I'll do is I'll create a separate table for headers. I'll create a separate table for menu, and I'll create the separate table for con <coughs> our main content. All right. So now you can see, you can see uh, uh, for the main content I have made three compartments. So like I have three different things. So if you're looking at the structure you can think of it as a left center and right and in the end I have the table for footer so everything is stable so let's do one thing <coughs> in order to execute this uh, let's go to the place this was a completed version which you saw and let's start building this one so I'll open with notepad alright so <coughs> I have nothing I have only one table right <coughs> the only thing I have is a one table right now so like I said everything will be a table so this will be a table for my header alright <coughs> I'm just planning right now okay the next thing would be this would be a table for my menu whoops alright next is this would be a table for my content and this would be a table for my <coughs> footer all right so so far so good now when I preview this page I mean if I go over here and if I double click on this and try to preview it you don't see anything you just see the content right but you don't see the table because TR and TD is nothing is there so let's start building the first and as for the plan I'm thinking to reduce the complexity uh, let's build table and I'm sorry caps is on caps is off <coughs> let's build a header menu first and create the footer as well so you get a clarity like what I'm trying to build over here right so let's start and start building that right so I'll go with first as TR as you can see let me show you you can see like this is uh, one 
complete box there is no subdivision in it so there's only one TR right one TR and one TD so one this is only a one row you don't see uh, rows more than that right so this is my row and now I'll create the data so like this TD and I'll say this is my header <coughs> slash TD again okay and now let me have a look the new one right so control F5 so you can see you have the header now but your header doesn't look like this one don't worry we'll make it something like that so I'll go to index and I'll say style style is a special attribute using which you can style your table or TR now over here I want to set the background color to be light green and I want its height to be let's say uh, 100 pixel height okay <clears throat> so now let's come here and let's refresh as you can see you kind of have the same structure what you had over here right so we have built that and what exactly we did is nothing we just introduced one TR within that we just have written the header obviously when we are building the website so half <coughs> of the left of the header would be some icon some image on the right hand side you'll have some awesome title about your website right so but uh, let's not get into that and let's focus over here right so your header is ready so now very good now let's go and let's create the menu as well all right control V and we'll give a color as whoops gray <coughs> gray would be my color and height would be let's say I'll be keeping the height as 40 and the height of this will be 80 pixel right and now let me refresh and see where we are alright so you have the header oh I'm sorry I forgot to change the content the content should be menu alright so the content should be menu uh, I'm sorry I have made a mistake alt fs and let me refresh so as you can see the menu is back and seam will be doing that for the footer part as well so where's my footer alright there you are and let's do that home caps on again cops off okay this guy would be gray and this guy would be what was it it was footer I'm sorry so it was footer and closing of table <coughs> so in order to make this thing dividable and easily we have done this right so basically what we have done is <coughs> we have covered the header menu and my footer right so all you can see over here now the last part and last change uh, the change is I have written a simple CSS all right and this CSS means I am applying a special style to all the TD tags available on the page and I'm saying wherever you find the TD tag try to align the text of that TD tag to be center so now let me hit the refresh so you can see all of them are aligned to center the content is not aligned to center because content is not built yet right if you look at uh, the from the beginning we have completed the header menu is completed content is pending because content does not have any TRs or TDs that's why it doesn't do anything right but besides you got the idea right how to build this thing right so in the next <coughs> uh, video I will show you how can you build this thing and it won't take much time right but at least you will have an idea uh, you know what is a type of structure uh, you can create using a tables so I guess this would be a very good start for you guys alright so if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and thank you for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video good night and take care